Narcissist survivors have a unique perspective on life because they've seen the dark side of human nature and lived to tell the tale. They know what it's like to be used, abused, and abandoned. But they also know how to pick themselves up and get back on their feet when life knocks them down. Here are 10 important pieces of advice a narcissist survivor can give you that will help you deal with narcissists. Number 1. Acknowledge the abuse One of the things that you can do for yourself is to acknowledge that you have been abused. This does not mean you should spend all day thinking about it. It's better if you don't. It's not your fault. You didn't do anything wrong and didn't deserve the abuse. You are a good person and did everything possible to make it work out with this narcissist. Acknowledging the abuse will help you start to heal and move forward. It may be difficult to admit, but you need to recognize that there are some things in your past that you cannot change and that they will have an impact on you for the rest of your life. It is never too late to take control of your recovery. Number 2. Forgive yourself One of the most important things to remember as a survivor of narcissistic abuse is that you are not the problem. It's very easy to blame yourself when you're struggling with the aftermath of abuse. Still, staying focused on what you can control is far more critical your thoughts and actions. Narcissist survivors frequently struggle to forgive themselves for allowing the narcissist into their lives. Narcissists are master manipulators and can make you appear insane if you claim they were abusive or manipulative. It can be challenging to move past feelings of guilt, but you must if you want to move on from your experience with them. It's not your fault that you were involved with the narcissist, and it's not your fault that they treated you the way they did. Number 3. Reclaim your identity Reclaiming your identity is a crucial step in healing from narcissistic abuse. While you may have lost sight of who you are in the relationship, it's important to remember that you're not defined by your abuser. You're defined by who you are as an individual. Reclaiming your identity doesn't mean abandoning the parts of yourself that were shaped by the relationship. It means claiming all those parts and learning to love them. Narcissists are masters at making people doubt their sanity. You might feel like the person you used to be is gone, that you'll never get her back. You may have spent years of your life feeling like nothing more than a source of validation for the narcissist. That doesn't mean that's what you are now or always will be. It's important to remember that your life was not always this way, and it doesn't have to be this way forever. It's not too late to get it back. Give yourself time to take care of yourself and heal. You deserve a life that makes you feel good about yourself, and now is the time to start living it. Number four, express your emotions. Cry and feel the pain. Feeling better is a process that takes time. It doesn't happen overnight or even over a few months. It's not like you'll wake up one day and realize that you've healed from the narcissist's abuse. You'll have good and bad days. Those bad days would become less frequent as time goes on. You are not alone in this situation and expressing yourself is okay. You do not need to be strong all the time. You can cry and feel the pain. Moving on from abuse is difficult, but it's possible with time and patience. Express your emotions. Cry, scream, punch a pillow or a wall, whatever you want. Just don't bottle it up inside. You will also need to let go of those feelings after, so they don't control your life anymore. Number five, seek professional help and immediate support. Narcissistic abuse is a form of psychological and emotional trauma. It can be challenging to deal with on your own. You may not realize that you need help until you feel trapped in a situation that seems impossible to escape. You may feel isolated or confused about what's happening, which can be traumatic for anyone. Suppose you're a survivor of narcissistic abuse. In that case, you must seek professional help immediately and connect with others who understand what you've gone through. 
A therapist can help you process what happened and give you the tools you need to move on with your life. Talking about your experience with others, going through similar things is also essential. Whether it's someone else who has been the victim of narcissistic abuse or someone who has gone through something similar, you don't feel alone in your struggle. Number six, surround yourself with people you were isolated from. If you're dealing with a narcissist, it can be easy to feel isolated alone. Getting sucked into the narcissist's little bubble and having your whole world revolve around them is easy. Narcissist survivors often find themselves feeling alone after their relationship ends. Take this opportunity to reconnect with people you might have lost touch with over the years. It's important to remember that there are people in your life who care about you. Many of them probably feel like they don't know how to help. If you haven't been in touch with certain friends or family members for a while, now is the time to reach out and reconnect. Tell them how much you've missed them and ask to meet up soon. Surround yourself with people who make you feel good about yourself, support your goals and dreams, and are there for you when you need them. Number seven, accept the reality that they will never change. This is a hard truth to accept, and it may take some time to come to terms with it. But the sooner you accept it, the better off you'll be. If you want to move forward from the abuse, accept that they won't change and let go of any hope they might. Everything you do, every interaction you have, and every word you say to a narcissist is meaningless. They're only interested in themselves and their agenda. You can't change or fix them. You can only change yourself. You might think they'll eventually come around if you love them enough or give them enough chances, but they won't. If someone truly wants to change their behavior, they'll do it of their own accord. They won't need someone else urging them along or reminding them. Number eight, set clear boundaries. Setting clear boundaries is the best way to protect yourself from a narcissist's manipulation. Narcissists are masters at getting what they want without working for it. They do this by twisting reality and making you feel guilty for your wants and needs so that you give them what they want without realizing it's happening. Narcissists tend to have control issues and don't take kindly to limits. You must set clear boundaries to protect yourself from further harm after the abuse. As a narcissist survivor, you know you can't let your guard down for even a second. If they text or call you out of the blue after the breakup, block their number so that they can't contact you anymore. If they show up somewhere many people are, leave immediately and go somewhere else. You must always be on your toes because if you don't set boundaries, the narcissist will take advantage of you. Number nine, practice self-compassion. If you have survived a narcissist, and that is no small feat. As a narcissist survivor, you've probably spent a lot of time beating yourself up for things that happened in your past. You are too sensitive, emotional, needy, and weak. You don't know how to care for yourself and need someone else to do it for you. Getting caught up in the cycle of self-hatred and blame is easy because it's what we have been taught our entire lives. People say we are not worthy of love or respect unless we can prove ourselves capable and strong. Let me tell you this, prove them wrong. Suppose you want to heal from narcissistic abuse. In that case, one of the most important things is to learn to be kind and gentle with yourself because there is no way out of this without compassion. Forgiving yourself for being stupid enough to fall for their lies is hard. Still, when you start practicing self-compassion, it becomes easier and easier every time you do it. You get better at forgiving yourself and loving yourself just as you are. Number 10. Take care and love yourself more. Narcissists are so good at making you feel like you're never good enough. They have an incredible ability to make you doubt yourself, and it can be hard to shake that feeling of self-doubt. Being a narcissist survivor is difficult, but you're doing it. You're surviving and doing it by taking care of yourself. We know it's not easy. So take care of yourself and love yourself as much as possible. You are enough. You are worthy of love and respect 
and deserve to be treated well by others. Take some time for yourself. Do things that make you happy and love yourself as much as possible. These are great tips for moving on if you have a narcissist in your life or if you used to have one. Ultimately, you can't do anything about the narcissist in your life until you start treating yourself better. You have to make yourself your priority and stop taking abuse from the narcissist. If that sounds like an uphill struggle, please know that you are not alone and there is a way forward. Did you find this video informative? Let us know in the comments below. Like this video and subscribe to this channel. It helps us a lot. Watch this next video over here.